Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby, and Robin and Christine will be here in just a second. Uh, today is the 3rd of December, and today we celebrate, actually, a bunch of uh, saints, but uh, let me see, I picked uh, the Hieromater Theodore, who was the Archbishop of Alexandria. We also celebrate the, uh, um, the prophet Zephaniah, but... We have the Troparian for Theodore, who was the Archbishop of Alexandria this morning. By sharing in the ways of the apostles, you became a successor to their throne. Through the practice of virtue, you found the way to divine contemplation, O inspired one of God. By teaching the word of truth without error, you defended the faith, even to the shedding of your blood. How remarked Theodore? and treat Christ God to save our souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now let's say good morning to Robin and Christina. We'll get that out of the way so we can see there, so we can see Christina. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. And, uh, now, Christina woke up with uh, back pains this morning. So, Lord, we pray she's got to go to work later on. But, so we pray that uh, you relieve those back pains through that uh, Tylenol. Oh, yes. Oh, good idea. But I didn't think of it. Right. Yeah. I'll go I, get some. I take uh, naproxen. That helps. But uh, okay. that helps for me. Some people it's Tylenol. Some people it's, uh, what is it? The other one. I don't know. can't think of it right now. Motrin? No, oh, I, no, what is it? I used to take that. I can't think of the name. Oh, well. At any rate. Well, good morning, and uh, let me see. As Robin's going to re read our scriptures this morning. We've got Galatians 1, 3 through 10, and then our gospel is Luke 12, 32 through 40. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Grace to you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel which is not another, but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or another angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I still pleased men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. I like that. If you're going to serve men, you can't be a servant of Christ. No. Can't be much clearer. No. And Luke twelve thirty two through 40. Do not fear, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what you have and give alms. Provide yourself money bags which do not grow old. A treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning, and you yourselves be like men who wait for their master when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. 
blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah, I was thinking of that uh, yesterday. Um, I was uh, I was thinking, you know, I, I remember I had a, a Bible, I was doing a Bible study, and there was a, a Protestant in it, and uh, he says, do you people ever read the book of Revelation? And uh, yeah, we said, yes, we, occasionally we do, but not very often. And, uh, you know, the Protestants are, some of the Protestants anyway, are very, very big into the book of Revelation. They want to discover what's going to, I said, I really don't have time to worry about all these things that are going to happen that are in the book of Revelation. I'm too wor I'm too too busy getting prepared so maybe the next hour or the next day I may that may be my last day. You know, so I'm I'm being prepared now just like Jesus tells us in this gospel. You know, this may be my final hour. I have gotta be prepared now. I'm not worried about end times and all of that. Don't have time for it. I'm too busy right now trying to prepare myself for the next hour. All righty, so let's see who's with us. Jonathan Nichols, good morning. Ket Zurga, good morning. Catherine Houston, Violetta, good morning. Amber Tremaine, happy Saturday, everybody. More snow in Snohomish, Washington. <laughs> and we have a birthday today. Yes, we do. Barb Anderson's grandson, Victor. And Lord, we wish him... Uh, uh, a good life, a good life in you, and Lord, we wish him many, many more to come. Amen. So, good morning, Barb. And over here, not many with us this morning. There's Joanne Manaski. Good morning. She's up and around in Phoenix, uh, Arizona, and uh, praying for relief for Christina's back pain. No, thank yes, you. Yes, sir. And That's our true. little sister, Lena May, is here, too. Good morning. Well... I think that's all we've got with us this morning. Oh, no. Midnight washings. Good morning. May the blessed Lord grant holy grace upon your prayers. Amen. Well, thank you so much. And there's a new face for us. Midnight watchings. Yeah, usually we have a lot more people with us, but uh, Saturday morning, I guess, people are sleeping in a little bit this morning. But good to see you. And uh, Catherine says, good morning, midnight watching. Eleone Shanara just joined us. And what is she here for, Christina? She is here to remind us that Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. Thank you, Eleone. Amen. And uh, Amber says, I'll be praying for you, Christina. I'll be oh, praying oh, for see. you. I and, need it. Yeah. And Karen Karlanovich, good morning. And uh, may we all be ready to meet the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Get ready. Get ready. All righty. So, people keep filing in. That's good. Well, um, Christina, you're reading our morning prayers. You're leading some prayer this morning. Absolutely. Did you see I was, I was, I turned at the wrong page. I actually know, but on this page is always the text from Philippians. And I love this, the introduction to the prayers. Have no anxiety about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, I love it. All so right. happy I saw this. Well, let us pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God and Creator, you are the Father of all people on the earth. Guide, I pray, all the nations and their leaders in the ways of justice and peace. Protect us from the evils of injustice, prejudice, exploitation, conflict, and war. 
Help us to put away mistrust, bitterness, and hatred. Teach us to seize the storing and using of implements of war. Lead us to find peace, respect, and freedom. Unite us in the making and sharing of tools of peace against ignorance, poverty, disease, and oppression. Grant that we may grow in harmony and friendship as brothers and sisters created in your image to your honor and praise. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, comforter, the spirit of truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities. For thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From my bed and sleep thou hast raised me. O Lord, enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear, let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou wast not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am. Neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding, and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to hymn thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all holy name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. Come. Let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence, with the Father through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. 
I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God most high and Lord of mercies, whoever worketh great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who provides us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love toward mankind. Thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God, glorified in all and by all, the eternal Father with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theotokos, who art ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos. We magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. In every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly in the firm belief that thy holy will will govern all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its event. Guide thou my will, teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Make his, may the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Well, let me see here. Anna Gennaro has joined us. Good morning to you. There's Mary Saad. Good morning. And uh, let me see here. Oh, Lena May says, uh, God always gives us what is needful and not necessarily what we think we want. That's in response to that little prayer that you said. Uh, actually, it's a reading from Philippians. And uh, let me see here. Anna Gennaro couldn't sleep again, so I'm here. She's out there in Coopville, Washington State. So it's, uh, well, it's let me see, quarter after five, 20 after five. And uh, let me see. Debbie Owen, good morning from Lyons, New York. Good morning. And uh, let me see here. Jonathan says it's good to see Christina again. It's raining and 46 degrees in Fresno right now. Well, they need the rain. Wow. And let me see here. Do, 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 do. And Amber says, there's Pippin. And Kat Zurgaw says, cute dog. Midnight watching. Good morning. Stand firm in faith, friends. Thank God for your stream. Amen. Well, we're here every uh, midnight... We're here every morning at 8 a.m. for morning prayers. And then at 9 p.m., uh, we're here for the Gospel Minute Live. And we do a variety of things at night. So um, you're welcome to join us. More than welcome to join us. Glad to see you. Every morning at 8 a.m. and every night at 9 p.m. And those are Eastern Standard Times. And if you have prayer requests, well, let us know. Let us know. Put them there in the comment section. Or you can email me down to see where Robin is. Right below her is our email address, gospelminutelive at gmail.com. Gospelminutelive at gmail.com. Well, now it's time, my friends. Let me see here. Just one more quick check. I don't want to forget anybody. Say good morning to Kat. And uh, Anna Gennaro says, good to see you, Christina. 
And uh, weather report from Santa Cruz, California, 47 degrees. Mm -hmm. And uh, Anna, uh, Anna says it's 520 where she is, and it's 520 where Karen is, too. And let me see here. All righty. So it's time we pray for each other. So I want to thank you both. We'll see you both tomorrow morning. Yes. Great. Right here. We'll be here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. But now we got to get on our prayer list. And yes, midnight, it is a long prayer list. So we only do half in the morning and half at night. Or we'd be here all day. So, <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much, and we'll see you later. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. So as I said, this is, this is when we pray for each other. So, Lord, we ask that you remember all of those who we are about to pray for. And, Lord, we pray for the DeForest family over there in San Antonio, Texas. <coughs> there at St. Sophia's. So, Lord, we pray for uh, Kim for a healing and relief from pain for her. We pray for their um, Kim's daughter, Megan, who suffers from cancer. And we pray for the health and a healing for Ross, her son. And we pray for uh, Kim's husband, Jack. Keep him strong, Lord. And keep him healthy. Amen. We pray for Nelvi Nelvia Agnew, who suffers from cancer. Lord, she's down in Arkansas. And uh, we pray for her. And we pray for uh, Gary Ballard, also from San Antonio, Texas, and St. Sophia's. And uh, so, Lord, we pray for Gary and his wife, Stefania, for their health. We pray for the health of their parents, Mary, Ella, and Alice. We pray for their children. Madhu, Aisha, Jasmine, Emmanuel, Jonathan, Benjamin, and their grandson, Raynard. We pray, dear Lord, for their academic, career, and life pursuits. May they be pleasing to you and a blessing to all those around them. And we pray for Gary for strength and focus to complete his assignments. And we pray for Kevin McCurchin recovering from that stroke. Lord, we pray for the Masseri family, Maria and the family. We pray for their health, Lord, and healings for Adina who's going through chemotherapy. We also pray for Maria's husband, Savarillo, and their daughters, Philomena and Georgia. Lord, we pray for our sister, Catherine Houston, down there in Venice, Florida. We pray for her, Lord, keep her healthy. We pray for a healing for her sister. We pray for Susan, who's being treated for bone cancer. We're praying for Kathy to return to our faith and become her best self. We pray for Thomas Duffy, who had that heart attack. We pray for healing and for him for his heart and strengthening of his heart. We also pray for Catherine's son, Brandon, and his wife, Nicole, and their baby daughter, Poppy Rose, Catherine's first grandchild. And Lord, we pray for Catherine's uh, daughter, Lexi, for her health and good travels. She's been over in Hawaii. And we pray for her uh, cousin, John. We pray for Nadine. And uh, let me see here. We pray for uh, Michelle and Donna and Kevin and Keith. They each suffer from cancer. And we pray and thank you for healing uh, Jan Novak from cancer. Michael and Joyce E. Rager ask to pray for Janice Proctor suffering from lung cancer. Lord, we pray for the health of my family. We pray for my granddaughter Anna, my granddaughter uh, Sarah. We pray for my daughter Maureen and her family. We pray for uh, Christina that she remains cancer free. We pray for the health of my wife Sharon. We pray for our friends Ann Bradner, Jim and Ann Robinson and Gary Fisher. Lord, we pray for our little sister, Lena May, who's with us this morning. Thank you so much. Well, Lord, we pray for Lena May, for her health and a healing for her. We pray for that. And we pray, uh, Lord, for her husband. We pray for their daughters, uh, Jennifer and Stephanie. And we pray for Charlene, who you healed from breast cancer, Lord. Thank you. We pray for my friend, Bernie Grant, for his health and the health of his mom. We pray for that. Amen. We pray for Karen Kalanovich. Good morning, Karen. Oh, Lord, we pray for Karen, for her health and healing for her. We pray for all of her children and grandchildren, Lord. Uh, we, we pray and we thank you for them. We do. We pray especially for Jonna, Chris, Andrew. We pray for her grandsons, George and Cabe. We pray for their all their health and, and for their uh, uh, healing where necessary. We pray for that. We pray for Ket Zerga. Good morning, Ket. Well, Lord, we pray for Kat Zurga and her sister. We pray, dear Lord, for their health. Keep them healthy and strong. We pray for the health of Stephanie Acario. Lord, we pray for Catherine Salcedo and her family. They're struggling right now. So, Lord, we pray that you come to them and help them. 
We pray for Catherine, her husband, Raphael. We pray for Bianca and, and Rodrigo. We pray for little Izio. And we pray for uh, John and his children as well. Amen. Well, Lord, at St. Michael's, we're praying for uh, Paul Peters, who has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for his wife, Ethel, and that whole family that you comfort and console them. We pray for Aziza Baruti, Stella Susuris, Enum George, Mary Malark, Barb Essa, George Abraham, Hugh Mader, Rosie Wallace, Michelle Quagliana, Sophie King, Linda Beckley, Steve and Sharon Toby, Joseph Medeiri, Joseph Felix, Stephen Fraser, Michelle Mason, John Showalter, James Herbert, Charles Thomas, Ruth and Jane Jabera, Marion Canali, Cooper Wolf, Jorge Luqua. We pray for Curia Jane Solberg, Curia Jocelyn. We pray for Dory Harris and Kelly and Shannon Levy, Jason Post, Michael Abraham, Robert D'Orsonio, Steve Rumian, Michael Joseph, John Nicholson. We pray for Father Stephen Allen, Father Philip McCaffrey. We pray for George Michaels, and Lord, we pray for Rennie Abraham, our sister. We pray for we pray for all of them, Lord, for health and healings. And Lord, we pray that you give them your peace. Amen. We pray for our sister Carmi Simeon over there in Geneva, New York. Keep her in good health, Lord. We pray for that. We pray for Rob King. For we pray for his health, and we pray for Tucker for his health. And uh, Lord uh, Rob asks us to pray for his children and his grandchildren. We pray, dear Lord, for their health, and we pray that they come closer in faith to you. We pray for Rob's sister, Dixie, that you help her with her struggles. And Lord, we pray for Judy, who you healed from cancer. We pray that she remains cancer-free. We pray for Earl and Vicki Winter down there in uh, down there in uh, Nashville, but they're on the road, or probably right now in Tupelo, Mississippi, traveling. So, Lord, we pray for safe travels for them back and forth to Tupelo. They're visiting Vicky's parents, Martha and Jimmy, and we pray for their health. We pray for success for Earl's business. We pray for the health of Zach and Lindsay and Lindsay's friend Donna. We pray for Jane Robbins and Ann Hawkins. We pray that you bring Albina, Tom, and Sonia back to good health. And, Lord, we pray for Alyssa Sides, who suffers from cancer. Now, Lord, we pray for Barb Anderson and her family. Keep them in good health. We pray for Victor, her grandson. Today is his birthday, Lord, and we wish him many, many, many more in good health. Now, we're also praying for Barb's son, uh, Archpriest Michael, who you healed from cancer, and we thank you for that. We pray that you keep him cancer-free. Lord, we pray for uh, Francis Pappas down there in Greenville, South Carolina. We pray for her and her family, especially her husband, Dimitri, who's going through kidney dialysis and awaiting a new kidney. So, Lord, we pray that that happens soon. We pray for Francis' childhood friend, Flora, who suffers from cancer. We pray for Francis' parish, St. George's Parish in Greenville, South Carolina. We pray for Father Tom, Father Mike, and the congregation there. We pray for Gloria Drummond, Lord, keep her healthy and safe. We pray for, uh, she asks us to pray for Joseph Horath and David and Samantha for their health. We pray for Natalia Klaus over in the Netherlands, Lord. We pray that you keep that family healthy. Thank you for healing and Natalia's father. Thank you so much. And Lord, we pray that you send the Holy Spirit to Natalia to help her in her faith. Lord, we pray for uh, Stravula and Elia Batskos and uh, over in Melbourne, Australia. We pray for that family, Lord. We pray for Marie. We pray for uh, uh, Marie. We pray for Uncle Demetrios who's fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal life with you. We pray for his wife, Valencia, Lord, for her good health. We pray for Robert, Antigone, and Raphael. We pray for Aaron, that you heal and strengthen his heart. We pray for George, uh, Uncle George, I think, and uh, he has cancer, Lord. We're praying for Stravula and Father Mark. Father Mark. Father Mark, they're both going to have surgery today or tomorrow, or the next day. And uh, Lord, we pray for uh, successful surgeries for each of them. We pray that you guide their surgeons' hands and give those surgeons the, the knowledge, the wisdom, and the skill to perform a successful operations. So we pray for that. And Lord, we pray for Maria Fenton, Ocala, Florida, down there at St. Basil's. Well, Lord, we pray for Maria, for her health and her special intentions. We pray for her daughter, Felicia, and her family. We pray for uh, Maria's uh, 
son-in-law, Robert, that he comes home in faith to you. We pray for Morris, for his health and his special intentions. And we pray for Marilyn, that you heal and strengthen her heart. We pray for Joanne Taylor, Lord, who suffers from cancer. We pray for healing for Joanne Taylor. We pray for our catechumens. We pray, dear Lord, that they continue to flourish and grow at the Holy Spirit uh, Parish in Venice, Florida. We pray for Thomas, Ann, Curtis, and Craig at the All Saints Parish of Alaska. We pray for uh, Ken and Nancy Klein at the uh, Nativity of Christ Parish in Youngstown, Ohio. We pray for Eric. We pray for the uh, Catechumens at St. Ananias Parish in Evansville, Indiana. We pray for Ginger at St. John Chrysostom Parish in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We pray for uh, the Catechumens at St. George's Parish in Fresno, California. They are Kenneth, Madison, Justin, and Karen. We pray for uh, the Catechumens at St. Michael's in Louisville, Kentucky with uh, Alex Shanera and all 49, 49 Catechumens at St. Michael's in Louisville. Thank you, Lord. And we pray for the Catechumens at St. Michael's Parish in Geneva, New York, my parish. Lord, we pray for Jonathan Butterfield and uh, Nick and Jackie Rose and their children. Amen. Lots of, lots of catechumens. And let me see. We pray for Tina Showalter at my parish. We pray for her health and her ministry. And we pray that you bring her husband, John, back to good health. We pray for Tom Abraham and his uh, children and grandchildren. And we pray especially for little Bren May, Lord. She was born with that heart defect, and boy, she's doing great. Thank you. We pray for Joyce Marie and her husband, Tim, for their health. And she asks to pray for the health and well-being of this prayer group, that you hear our prayers and be glorified in them. We pray for Joyce's sister, Janet, that she remains cancer-free. And we pray for Janet and Joyce's mother, Granny Joyce. And we pray for her health, and we pray for all of their children and grandchildren, for your mercy and grace, and that your will be done in each of their lives. We pray for Jolene and Jeremiah. We pray that their households be guided by the Holy Spirit, protected by your angels, and that they follow your leading. Now, Lord, we pray for uh, Jeremiah's father, Dan Smith, who you healed from cancer. We pray that he remains cancer-free. We pray for Joyce's cousin, Connie, for healing of body and soul, and that she continues to grow in faith in you. We pray for St. George's Parish in Spring Valley, Illinois, together with Father Mark, Mary Mary's Market, and the whole congregation there. We pray that, that that parish grows and flourishes and does your work. We pray for that. We pray for your blessings, Lord, and All Saints Parish in Chicago, together with Father Andrew and Father Patrick Reardon the con and the whole congregation there. Well, Lord, over in Phoenix, Arizona, we pray for Joanne Manaski. Keep her healthy and right here with us, Lord. We pray for that. And we pray for her cousin, Mark, who has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for a family friend, Claire, who suffers from cancer. Lord, we pray for uh, Joanne's daughter, Erin, and her husband, Andrew. And, uh, Lord, we pray for uh, Joanne's son, Corey, and for her three brothers, Eugene, Stephen, and Paul. We pray for their health and uh, healing for each of them. We pray for uh, Joanne's great niece, Madison, for a healing for her, Lord. We pray for Rachel, who's recovering from that bicycle accident. We pray for full recovery for her. We pray for Joel, who has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal life with you. Now, Lord, we pray and thank you for healing Jackie and Bev from cancer. Thank you so much. We pray for Randy, who does suffer from cancer. And we pray for Randy's caregiver, Jude. And we pray for the health of Jack. And Lord, we pray for Amy and Eric Green, and thank you for each of them, Lord. We pray for them, for their health, their faith, Eric's business, and Amy's students. We pray for their daughters, Sarah and Natalie, and future son-in-law, Bryce. May the Holy Spirit protect, guide, and inspire them to a deeper faith in you, and help them to continue to make good decisions in their lives. We pray for uh, Amy's mother, Lois. We pray for her health, Lord, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We pray for Eric's parents, Glenn and Grace. We pray for their health. We pray for Amy's uh, brother, Rick, and his crew. We, they're first responders, and we pray that you keep them safe. We pray for Randy, who's fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for uh, 
Tabitha, Austin, and Naomi, that little family, Lord, to keep them healthy and strong. We pray for Clementine, Terrence, and Sean. We pray for their health and endurance, especially for Sean, Lord. We pray for Christina and Teresa for relief from continual migraines. We pray for mother and son, Lauren Ryder, for uh, their health, Lord, and for healing for Lauren. And Lord, we pray that Lauren finds a good place to live. We pray for Levi, little baby Levi, two years old, suffering from cancer, but the news has been good there, Lord, so thank you. So we pray for Levi for a complete uh, recovery from cancer. We pray for his parents, Dustin and, Just, uh, Dustin and Jessica, that you give them strength and hope. We pray for that. Now, Lord, we pray for Belle, Andrea, and their families for healing and strength. We pray for Pam, Jay, and Christina for healing for each of them. We pray for Rose Marie and Emma Jane. They're both in nursing homes, so we pray that you keep them healthy and safe. We pray for Debbie Owens over there in Lyons, New York. Lord, we pray for her. We pray that you make life a little less complicated. We pray for that. We pray for success for her private practice. We pray for the health of her father. We pray for Debbie's husband, Matt. We pray for their children, Amaya, Clara, Gio, Jordan, and Eleanor. We pray, dear Lord, that they make good decisions in their lives and come closer to you. And Lord, we pray especially for Gio that you send him the Holy Spirit to help him, guide him, and strengthen him in his life. We pray for Debbie's friends, Yelena and Masha, for their health. And we pray for Lori, who suffers from cancer. Now let's see if Joseph is with us this morning. And, oh, he's not, but Alita Hagos is here. Good morning, Alita. Please, prayers for those who are suffering mentally and physically. Amen. Yes. Lord, we pray for all of those suffering mentally and physically, and spiritually too. Lord, help them. Help them with their health. We pray for that. Thank you, Alita. And um, so, Lord, we pray for Joseph Khalil. We pray for his health. We pray that you keep him healthy and safe. We pray for his ministries. We pray that they continue to be pleasing to you and a blessing to all those around him. We pray for Joseph's sons, Toby and Luke. We pray that you send them the Holy Spirit to help them, guide them, and strengthen them in their lives. We pray that you protect Luke from all infections. We pray, Lord, for uh, Joseph's mother, Odette, for healing. We pray for that. And we pray for Joseph's uh, wife, Renea, for her health and a healing for her. And, Lord, we pray for Robin Armstrong and Pippin. Yes, Lord, we pray for Robin and Pippin. Keep them healthy and protect them. And we pray for Robin's uh, father, Bob, who has fallen asleep. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. We pray for his wife, Carolyn, and that whole family. Comfort and console them, Lord, and bring them your peace. We pray for Malia, who suffers from that brain tumor. We pray, dear Lord, that you heal her. And we pray for her mother, Lori. And we pray for Francis, that you bring Francis back to good health. We pray for our brother Jonathan Nichols, Lord, and thank you for him. He'll be with us tonight on the Gospel Minute Live. And, uh, Lord, we pray for Jonathan, and we thank you for healing him of cancer, for, uh, of cancer, Lord. Thank you so much. Well, we pray for his health. We pray for his friends, Max, Dwight, Caitlin, Jeff, and Christina. We pray for them, Lord, for their health, and uh, especially Caitlin, that uh, you heal and strengthen her heart. We pray for that. Stefan Bennett asks us to pray for our spiritual fathers worldwide who are guiding their flocks. And Lord, I pray for Father Gregory, my priest at St. Michael's. Pray for Father Constantinos and his ministry at the St. Irene Orthodox Orphanage and Mission in Kenya. Pray for Father Antipas and his ministry in Nairobi. And Lord, we pray for Father Emmanuel at St. Sophia's in Nairobi. We pray for Father Demetrius Leosis at the St. Basil's in Ocala, Florida. We, Amy Green asks to pray for Father Joseph at St. George's Parish in Lynchburg, Virginia. We pray for Stelios, two uh, priests, uh, Fathers Theodore and Nectarios. We pray for uh, Christina Hunter's priest, Father Simon. We pray for Kathleen Purdy's son, Archpriest James Purdy. We pray for uh, Michael and Joyce Rager's priest, Father Daniel Hackney. We pray for Carmen Elrod's priest, Father Suriel. We pray for her godson as well, Father Nick. We pray for Barb Anderson's son, Archpriest Michael. We pray for Father Herman, Father Dragan Mitrovic, Julie Dumont's priest, Father Andrew Short. 
We pray for Father Adam Roberts at St. Paul's near Houston. Uh, we pray for Alione Chenera's priest, uh, Fathers Ephraim and Lucas at St. Michael's in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. We pray for Gary Ballard's priest, Father Thomas Newland. We, uh, Amy asks to pray for Father Sam and Father Jeremy. We pray for Karen Valentes' husband, Father Constantine. Raymond Cannon asks to pray for Father Weber and Father Dan. And uh, Lord, we pray for Father John Parcells. That's Robin's priest at uh, Christ the Savior Parish in Berlin, Maryland. And Lord, we pray for these priests, for their ministries, for their health, and we pray for their families, Lord, to keep them all healthy and strong. We pray for Mother Elizabeth for her health, her ministry, and her family as well. And Lord, we pray for our bishops, Bishop Saba, Daniel, Benjamin, Nicholas, and Alexander. We pray for their ministries, we pray for their health, and we pray for their families. Amen. Good to see Alita this morning. And yes, we pray for all of those, Lord, who are suffering mentally and physically. And let me see here. Let's see if there's any prayer requests over here. And Nelvia. Nelvia Agnew, good morning, in the hospital and been having very difficult times so joining late and sorry to have missed some sessions. Thank you for continuing your prayer. You are in my prayers as well. And Lord, we pray for Nelvia. We pray, dear Lord, that uh, you heal her of that cancer. And Lord, we pray that you get her out of that hospital at home healthy and safe. We pray for that. And uh, let me see here. And Karen Kalanovich, praying, this is for Nelvia, but Karen Kalanovich says, praying, praying for you to have all the support and help you need and that you'll be better in the near future. Yes, we pray for that for Nelvia. Amen. And uh, Katerina Salas, good morning. Pray for me. Oh, Lord, we pray for Katerina that you bring her and her mother and father back to good health. We pray for that, and we pray that you alleviate their their pain and suffering. Amen. Lots of prayers going up for Nelvia, yes. And midnight, midnight watchings. Would you keep me in prayers, please? Just had a heart attack last month, waiting for another operation. God bless. It's one twenty three p.m. here. Well, midnight watching. Let me see one. 23 p.m., that's afternoon. Got to be in the U.K., probably. So, Lord, we pray for midnight. She had that heart attack and was waiting another surgery, Lord. So we pray, dear Lord, that you heal and strengthen midnight's heart. We pray for that, Lord. We pray for that. And that you bring her through that surgery. Rob King, good morning. Good morning, Rob. Good morning and praying for all. Feeling much better and thank the Lord for getting me through surgery. Yes, Lord, thank you. And let me see. Is Joe Barbera here? I don't see his name, but Jonathan is saying good hello to him. Joe Barbera, there he is. Greetings all. Greetings all to, from Joe Barbera. And Amber, we will be lifting you up in prayer tonight, today, midnight watching. May you rest and mend and feel good and feel God so near as you heal. Amen. And so, Lord, let me just double check over here. Any other prayers? Okay, Lord, we ask that you have mercy on all those that we have prayed for this morning. We ask that you extend your healing hands on all those who are suffering physically, emotionally, and spiritually, Lord. We ask you for your healing, your grace, and your love as we give you our love. And we pray that your mother, the most holy Theotokos, the Virgin Mary, remembers us in our prayer intentions and her prayers when she prays. And we pray that our saints of the day, the prophet Zephaniah, and the Hiramarger, Theodore, Lord, we pray 
that they remember us and our prayer intentions in their prayers when they pray. O Holy Father, Heavenly Physician of our souls and bodies, who has sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal all our ailments and deliver us from death. We ask uh, that you visit and heal your servants, Lord, all those that we have prayed for this morning. We ask that you grant them release from pain and restoration to health and vigor, that they may give thanks unto you and bless your holy name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Well, folks, we'll see you all again this evening at 9 p.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S. And uh, that's probably a little too late for Midnight Watching to be with us, but pray prayerfully she'll be with us tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S. And let me see here. Oh, yeah, Jonathan will be with us tonight. And before I leave you, there's two things that we must always remember. Always remember. The first is that God loves us. And he really, really, really loves us. He does. And two, we all love one another. We all love one another. We do. We really, really, really do. So, folks, until tonight, may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, give thanks unto God.